Well, good morning, everybody. Another life-changing motovlog as I ride home from Awake. As you can see, the weather has kind of turned ugly on me. It was pretty, actually pretty nice when I left this morning. Of course, it was dark. I couldn't see anything, but I didn't have any fog. Now we got this fog and kind of mist. And the streets are wet. Everything was dry when I left this morning. Some of you asked me on my last motor vlog about this jacket. And this is also an Olympia jacket. It does have some mesh in it, but not quite as much as my other Olympia, the Air Glide, which is really a really a summer jacket. This one is a three-quarter length. And I I usually only wear it in colder weather because it's just a little bit warmer. I've got my Bon uh, thermal uh, shirt on underneath with all the armor in it. And then under that I just have a long sleeve t-shirt. And that, you know, it's, uh, you know, 60 degrees this morning, so it's not real cold. But it is wet, or damp, and that makes it feel a little cooler. I have no idea what this guy's doing. You know, to me, parking lots are some of the scariest places to ride because you never know when somebody's going to back out in a hurry or something and I'm um, always trying to be extra careful in a parking lot I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of traffic this morning it's going to be a challenge getting out of here so welcome to my motor vlog if this is your first time here if you're passionate about motorcycles uh, I think we might give you some information that will be of use to you um, if you're not familiar with the channel, I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, actually a town, a city called Carrollton, and uh, right now it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, the traffic is pretty intense on this particular roadway, but it looks like I might have an opening coming up here. I put a message on my YouTube channel uh, yesterday. I am in the process of kind of rebuilding my editing studio for my video editing. And I posted a question on my YouTube channel through the community tab asking everybody if, is there anybody out there that would be interested in seeing my uh, editing setup? Um, Right now, I've got a new laptop. I will eventually have a monitor, but the monitor that I'm interested in is back-ordered, so it's not available at, at the current time. And I don't know when those are going to be shipping. And I will be... Uh, setting this new uh, it's I mean it's the same studio same room I've always worked in my office but I'm just getting all new editing equipment and a new kind of a new setup so the question was is anybody interested in seeing that does anybody have any interest in uh, kind of seeing how I put these videos together how I edit them um, not that I'm a uh, a video editing genius by any stretch but if there's any interest in that, let me know in the comments and I'll throw something together. Kind of a behind the scenes, you might say, uh, from start to finish, how I shoot a video using the studio or on the bike, a motor vlog, and maybe the editing process. And just start to finish, you know, what it takes to put a video together. If anybody's interested in that, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll put a video together like that. Um, we're coming up on Christmas. And I'm just curious uh, what you guys are asking for or interested in. I say guys meaning guys to me is not gender specific. It could be 
female or male. So what are you interested in for Christmas that's motorcycle related? Have you asked for anything from your significant other or whoever? What would it be? I know some of the most popular things on a motorcyclist's Christmas list would be new gear, you know, like riding gear, maybe a new jacket, pair of boots, pair of gloves. I know that some of you are probably going to be asking for the uh, Garmin XT GPS for motorcycles, which is an excellent gift. A little expensive, but it's an excellent gift. And for those of you interested in the Garmin XT, I'll put a link in the description of this video to my Amazon page. Um, actually have sold quite a lot of Garmin GPS units through my Amazon page. Uh, what about Bluetooth headsets? Either the uh, Cena 50S, which is my uh, one of my top two recommended Bluetooth headsets, the other one being the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. So if you're a Cardo fan, I would recommend the Pack. Now I'm talking about for Goldwing riders. If you don't ride a Goldwing, if you ride something else, uh, there may be some other options available. But if you're a Goldwing rider, I think the Cardo Pack Talk Bold and the Cena 50S or 50R, the 50 series, I should say are your best choices. I'll put links to those down in the description as well because that'd be a great gift for somebody. And of course, uh, maybe you're a motovlogger. Maybe you're interested in getting a new GoPro for Christmas. Uh, I have this new GoPro 10 Hero, Hero 10 Black. I also have the Hero 8. Both of them uh, excellent cameras. Uh, the Hero 9 I have not used, but it's uh, a little more similar to the Hero 10 than the Hero 8. Uses the same battery. It also has the front-facing screen. So uh, I'll put links to that in the description of the video too if you're interested in those. So those are just a few gift ideas. How about some Bond armor? Uh, maybe the Bond armor, one of the armored shirts or the armored pants or their new level 2 armor. Uh, those uh, that would be a great gift item for Christmas shopping for your uh, motorcyclist in your family. So I have a uh, I have asked for dragon jeans. I have dragon jeans. I get I have I've received those for uh, Christmas gifts in the past. I also uh, asked this year for a new LD Comfort. Uh, helmet liner. You know, if you go to the LD Comfort website, this little helmet liner does not get great reviews, and I don't know why, because I love mine. I've been using mine for years. And the main advantage to using the helmet liner, I put it on my head before I put on my helmet, is it uh, keeps your the interior of your helmet from getting too sweaty. So I can double the amount of time between having to wash the interior parts of my helmet just by wearing this helmet liner. And it also has a flap in the back that covers my neck. So when it's, uh, uh, the, you know, when I'm riding in the sun, it, it keeps me from getting sunburned on the back of my neck, which uh, some of you may know, I already have uh, issues with sun as far as my skin, so I have to protect it any way I can. So what's on your list? What are you uh, hoping to score this year at Christmas uh, that's motorcycle related? Put it in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Uh, you may also notice I have this new mount on the chin of my helmet. And this is for the GoPro. I haven't started using it yet because I'm not sure I got it on correctly. I may have uh, misaligned it slightly, so I'm not sure how secure it's going to be. Uh, but the next motor vlog I do, I may use this new chin mount which sits in the center of my uh, helmet rather than off to one side. 
so maybe I'll review this new chin mount in my next uh, video my next motor vlog and that's it for me I don't have anything else to talk about it's uh, you know just about what 10 11 days out from Christmas I will be going to West Texas to see my brother the day after Christmas I'll probably do a vlog from there and I will uh, see all of you on my next motor vlog. Until then, I just ask that you do one thing, and that is ride safe. <laughs>